I just well, woke up one day in 2016 when I was hurt so badly. I went to visit a friend in Munich, in Bayern. And my kids were very young at that time. Now marafiki zangu, sijui ni wivu or it was also a plan. Nimesha kunyua dao. Bado. I I really much I can talk about today. I have learned learned a lot through my journey on TikTok. Yeah. It started just like it started like fun. It started like I just want to tell my story. It wasn't about the money. It was just about interacting because Germany is very lonely. Can I show you how lonely Germany is? Let me show you. Today is Sunday. Look our streets, look outside. This, this is our street. Do you see anything? Anybody? This is the life abroad. It is always quiet. Have no kids, then you are in trouble because Utako na This is the life abroad. Yeah. So, because of this, it's the same. German is the same everywhere. The streets, the culture, the people, it's the same. The mentality, it's the same. It doesn't matter what you, where you live. They are one people. So, it's, a, it's such a lonely place that... Now that social media is here and we can interact with each other, it's beautiful. The Germans, I think foreigners or white people use social media differently compared to we Africans. We have made social media a place to address each other, compete with each other, uh, prey on each other, who is doing better than me, why is she doing better than me? Why is she more famous than me? Why, why? And these are people we have never met. And we will never meet them. But we must fight them. If it continues this way, many people are going to end up dead. People who are not strong. If it continues this way, many people are going to be blackmailed and if you cannot stand it, you will take, take your life away. We have already lost a few people, I think, on Kenyan social media bullying. I, I only know of one lady that I can talk of. Something of hers was exposed on Facebook and she could not take it. So she took, she took her life. I remember only one person. Nijiuwe pia, utangwaja sana tia. Na ukiandika andika in capital letters. Because that is what you are waiting for and it is not happening. Sasa nikijiuwe, gift ni naachia nani? Easy gift za TikTok. Hmm? Nijiuwe ni achia nani easy gifts? Easy gifts tamu tamu. Na vile uwa ni nazi collect, kuzi collect. Hmm? So, guys, 
when I joined TikTok, there was no money. There was no... In my part, I didn't know what lions were. It wasn't a big deal anyway. Because I had my job. It was about content. Telling stories. Laughing. It was about making friends. It was beautiful. Then I found myself addressing things I was I was not supposed to be addressing. That is where trouble started. That is where my trouble started. And it has never stopped. Hmm? Nobody knew about me. But once the trouble crept in, fame came with it. After the fame came the money. After the money, trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble. I've always been crying on this platform. Always. Last year, at the same time, we were fasting. Because it was bad. The bullying was bad. But little did we know that we could come to this. What, what just happened? Little. Little did you know, we know. Anything can happen to anybody, guys. That get there, yeah. Nick it there. Nino. to visit a friend last yesterday. Hayuko. Hmm? Nilikuanga hivyo. Guys, I had this spirit of having friends, calling people, visiting people. Kuna watu wako hivyo. They cannot be alone. My son ako hivyo. Hmm? Kutembelea watu kukula kwa manyumba za watu i used to be like that hmm? nilikuwa naenda kwa ganians na waliza eh hey, mko na chakula you know i thought it was like kenya where you just enter somebody's house and tell them eh hey, nasikia nja <laughs> nilipigonga character development eh ganians they start go started gossiping about me eh hey, that uma she go come your house she go eat your rice. She go eat all. Eh? Na vile ganians, they know how to cook. I used to eat. Eh? Kuna vile wanajua kupika. Eh? I used to eat. Mmm. Be sister. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Mmm. Mmm. Ganians are wako kama wa Kenya. They, they are very, very, when it comes to food, Ghanian women, they protect their territory. Food and medulus. Touched one of those things. Their food. Kuna mwana mwana nikuwa naishi na haya likuwa mkuwa na mimba ya sara. Aki ya cha rice. Let me show you how she used to do it. Tuseme hii ni gunia ya mchele. Unajua they like buying rice in bulk. Because they cook a lot of rice. Ghanians, they love rice. Hmm? They love rice, jollof. Hmm? Jollof rice. 
Wanapenda upishi upishi mingi na michele. Mm? So this woman when she goes to to, to work, niyekuwa na na ishingi na end. Let us say this is her sack of rice. That is like 13 years ago, because my daughter is 13. 14 years ago. Hmm? To say this is the sack of rice. Let us put the rice inside. Hmm? Iyo ndiyo mchele, sindiyo? This is the sack. Eh? Kuna vile, this woman is gonna close this rice. Hmm? She's going to close it. No, no. That is what she used to do. After closing it, she's going to mark it. That if you touch it, she will know that you touched it. She will <laughs> mark it like this. <laughs> and, and go to work. <laughs> Can you achieve this? Yani, tembe ya uone. Tembe ya iduni ya uone. Hakuna kutu sijaona iduni ya. Mpaka ni nasemaga, yani I have finished my journey honorably. I swear. I have seen so much in this world. Ni meritaya. Ni meritaya honorably. Sasa yangu ni eh, to sit back and watch. Because I ask myself, tunakimbizana na nini hii dunia? Hmm? When you are a young person, you want it all. Uko na hii idea, I want a mansion, I want a Mercedes, I want a Mbabas, I want a mixed child, I want to go abroad, I want this. Uh, imagine akili, 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 a teenager, a 19 year old girl, 20, 21. Uangatu, nataka, 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 nataka. The vision is very big. Lakini uwezo, <laughs> inasemanga. Roho ina, inataka, lakini mwili <laughs> ni mchovu. <laughs> you can't achieve all these things. <laughs> eh? You can't achieve all these things. Hmm? Everybody wants these things. I want to be abroad. I want a mixed child. I want a muzungu. I want a Mercedes. I want a mansion. I want, I want, I want. Are you going to work for it? Ama i budget, unaekea mbabas. Na mmeona vile wababas. Wababas wamege uka kusele queen. Hmm? Instead of going to work hard, mtu anaweka kamera, akupige picha kuma, auze, apate pesa. That is our man of today. That is how lazy our men have become. Hmm? Generation ya piga picha kuma, weka mtandao, pata pesa. Men don't want to sweat anymore. Sasa we uko hapo, you are waiting for, for, for mbaba. Which one? Huh? Inaituanga puwagu na puwaguzi. Puwagu wa mekutano na puwaguzi. Muna kulana. Hmm? And you find in the end game, Eh? The man is more smarter than you. And you look stupid at the end of it all. Hmm? So this spirit of what do I eat on a babe, 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 I, I want to eat my pussy, my friend. Tuchungeni, 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 tuchungeni. Hmm? Tuchungeni. Ati ningefichua sura. Sura gani ningefichua? Mimi hata siku huko. I moved on already. I'm talking about general, my general thinking of everything going on. But we are a lost generation anyway. We are a lost generation. And the world is coming slowly to an end. Hmm? The world is coming slowly to an end. So, love wins. 
Dankeschön. You guys, we have um, live goal up. Chezeni nayo. Why don't you get a job? Because I have one. I cannot do two jobs at the same time. I have one already. You want to give me another work? Aromi. Ashley, thank you. Yeah, me have moved on. So guys, I was talking about my son. My son Akokama Mimi. He trusts people easily. He loves people so much. Okay, okay, when I had to come you, you will always be hurt. You will always be hurt. Mm -hmm. And Mimi ni likuanga hivyo. But, one day, one day, I decided to walk alone. Alone, alone, alone. And that is why, at I TikTok, it is hard to be close to Nyako as a friend. It is hard. Yani mimi tu, niwe ni nakupigia simu all the time. Hey! Hey, ah, hey, hey, imagine, hey, hey, ah, can never be me, can never be me. Ningumu sana, kukua rafiki yangu, ningumu sana. And that is why there are people who are in my life that thought I was ignoring them or I don't care. I just we woke up one day in 2016 when I was hurt so badly. I went to visit a friend in Munich, in Bayern. And my kids were very young at that time. Na marafiki zangu, sijui ni wivu or it was also a plan to hit me at my lowest walienda wakakunywa pombe and then the mocking started you know mwenye anakunywa pombe anakwambia anga ukweli 2016 I, I remember like yesterday in winter with my three children I got stuck in the middle of the highway at 2 o'clock in the night with my three kids this lady I went to visit, woke up at two o'clock and was screaming and shouting and abusing me and insulting me and I'm like, what is wrong? What is wrong? Hey, and you know, by 2016, I was still struggling. I was still jobless. I was still useless. I was jobless because I was raising kids. Germany, if you are a single mother, and you are raising kids, they give you your nursing period. Unapewata at six years to raise your kids before they can call you and get you a job. So nilikuwa your period, I was raising my kids. And this lady, she was like, unakula pesa ya serikali, uko useless, unikuja ujerumani lini, hauna chochote. That lady hit me my lowest that time i was this person who who hung on friends i was this person i will call friends we will laugh we will talk even 10 hours i was that person 2016 was my turning point of not trusting people being myself finding comfort in my loneliness and being okay with it. It's very important to develop that kind of personality when you are abroad because 
getting a true friend abroad is is almost impossible because they will always look at what does she have what has she achieved ana det mzungu mgani anaendanga holiday wapi watoto wake wako vipi guys europe hey it's not a walk in the park and i think walking alone is the best babi danke schön walking alone is the best and europe is a lonely place if you have a boyfriend ama uko tu na mali you get your comfort stick to that we don't need sometimes we don't just need friends to feel comfortable hmm? sometimes friends are our worst downfall and this era of social media who need friends anyway unakuja unaingia kwa box ya mtu mnapiga story time inaenda unasauni kama hata uko peke yako kwa nyumba yako this social media it is positive but it is also very negative because it can break you and it can make you so if used positively social media is good having physical friends is good If you are somebody you cannot survive emotionally alone you always need somebody to check on you hi babes how are you let's go have a drink let's go and chili with mbabas eh e maisha ya selai queen misiwezi mimi nimeretire hmm mimi <laughs> nimeretire Mm-hmm. Can you close your door? Yeah. Thank you. Nina come Kenya lini. I will come. when i'm ready you saw what just happened i need time for myself i need to feel okay when i feel okay i will come i will not even say it when i'm coming cuz we nimeona mpaka watchmen wana wana comment kwa video yangu mpaka watchmen wamesimama kwa gate wana comment kwa hiyo video I am very disappointed. I have disappointed so many people out there. So let me gather the courage to accept what happened, how it happened. Let me also let uh the people who loved me, the people who trusted me, uh, heal. What to absorb you kitu may happen. Then I will come. Kenyans they forget easily and move on. So for now the wound is so fresh and sikuja Kenya sai. I can't. Even if I wanted to siwezi. Many people are very disappointed. and anybody could be in that situation anybody can be lured into anything if you are willing to do it the end results is going to determine your strength kuna wanawake wangesema no i don't do this kuna wanawake watafanya because they want to please somebody or to just keep going there is always a reason to everything My reason was this man kept asking me for my 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 private part uh, all the time. I felt like I'm tired of you asking me this shit. Take it. 
Yeah. There is an extent to which you can ask somebody for something and at the end of it, the person says, okay, have it. That is what I did. It is what it is. I don't want to talk about it. It is okay. And the sad part of it, the guy came for a second video again. The sad part of it. So, I don't know. It was a plan that went well, but I don't think if the goal of that video has been achieved, I highly doubt. I highly doubt if the goal of putting out that video out there has been achieved. I highly doubt.